Thank you so much, Chairman Leahy, uh, Chairman Sensenbrenner, Chairman Conyers, and uh, to one of the great uh, icons and leaders of the American Civil Rights Movement, uh, Congressman John Lewis. Uh, this is an important day in the history of the American Civil Rights Movement, and I am honored to be a part of it with these great leaders uh, in this Congress. As a country, we have come such a long way since 1965, but we are not where we need to be yet. Discrimination is still a reality in this country, and it's one that we need to confront. As you've heard from the speakers before me, after the court in Shelby County struck down one of the most essential parts of one of the most effective and powerful pieces of the civil rights legacy, Congress had to come together to deal with the challenges of that decision, to put in place a new standard, to focus on modern challenges and on modern day violations. This new bill, which gives new life and new skill and new strength and new focus to the Voting Rights Act, does not relitigate violations of 50 years ago, does not revisit the harms and challenges and issues of 50 years ago, but it refocuses us in a way that is relevant and current, that is more transparent, that is more effective, and that is designed to pass. So I want to simply thank everybody on the staff and these great leaders on both sides of me who've made this possible today. This is a modern voting rights bill to confront modern voting rights challenges. And in the weeks that have passed, as the world has reflected on what Nelson Mandela's legacy was of moving towards a non-racial democracy that had real voting on the farthest end of the world in South Africa, and as we move towards a reflection on Martin Luther King this weekend, who led us through the Voting Rights Act and so many other changes to a real democracy in this country, we have to redouble our commitment to pass this legislation this year. Thank you very much. Thank you.